in 2013 professor dr andrew rosfeld of queensland museum discovered a fossil that was as large as a wolf additionally he discovers fossils of spider cockroaches millipedes and dragonflies these ancient specimens of dragonflies cockroaches and spider were notably 30 times larger than their modern counterparts carbon dating of these fossils revealed that they existed on earth millions of years before dinosaurs about 600 million years ago there is only one supercontinent called panotia supercontinent this formation predates even before the pangaea supercontinent during this time earth had an atmosphere but there was no ozone layer around earth consequently ultraviolet rays coming from the sun spread all over the earth making life impossible on land but in the ocean various chemical reactions were happening leading to the emergence of a first single celled organism amoeba as the time progressed more complex organisms such as algae developed from these simple life forms notably these algae began emitting oxygen as a byproduct into the seas this gradually led to an increase in the amount of oxygen within the ocean as oxygen being lighter than water molecules eventually it began to release in the earth's atmosphere around 530 million years ago due to this oxygen rich environment numerous multicellular organisms emerged these included orthopods mollusk worms sponges echinoderms and anomalocoris this period was termed as the cambrian explosion the sea is full of living organisms and there was enough food available for predators during the cambrian explosion the pace of evolution surged compared to the other eras however life had yet to be extended to the terrestrial environments primarily because the protective ozone layer had not yet developed around 460 million years ago the process of formation of ozone layer began it shields earth from the harmful effects of uv rays consequently the ozone layer played a pivotal role in enabling life to venture onto the land by providing protection against the sun's harmful radiation the population of predator in the sea began to rise steadily in order to escape these hunters numerous species of orthopod slowly transitioned to life on land as algae reached land with these organisms a transformation occurred they evolved into fungus which gradually transitioned into small plants over time these small plants further evolved into massive trees ultimately creating tropical forests like today the researcher named this period as carboniferous period however many of these trees were dying yet the bacteria responsible for their decomposition had not yet emerged around 358 million years ago this led to these fallen trees becoming inscaped in soil over time increased pressure gradually transformed them into fossil fuels the resources we rely on today but some dead trees become fossils through the study of tree fossils researchers uncovered that the trees from that era resembled modern trees yet a distinctive feature emerged the absence of growth rings in their trunk this absence of growth rings indicated to researchers a uniform temperature across the entire earth during that time but why were the living organisms so large during that time today organism breathe using respiratory system however during that time they used their skin to exchange gases and breathe remarkably around 300 million years ago the oxygen level was approximately 15% higher than it is today this surplus of oxygen played a significant role in gradual increase in the size of creatures leading to their enlargement over time around 298 million years ago the gradual movement of tectonic plates triggered the fragmentation of panotia supercontinent consequently numerous volcanoes began erupting releasing significant amounts of sulfur gas into the environment this influx of sulfur gas led to a reduction in the available oxygen unfortunately this drastic change had devastating consequences resulting in a staggering 90% loss of various creatures moreover those organisms that survived experienced a reduction in size due to the lack of available oxygen this catastrophic event known as the permian mass extinction marks one of the most significant mass extinction in earth's history support the mission of making our scientific knowledge accessible to everyone by sharing this video 
लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल सो सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय बाय